Good morning, Eisenhower. Uh, it's Dom and Tom back at it with uh, the morning announcements, and we're going to do some sports today, too. Uh, attention all students, follow us on social media at squirenews.com, and we need some more Twitter followers to keep up on all the sports. So, attention all students, bring in those plastic bags. We're still doing the Whirly Treks competition. Uh, going to win us a bench. A bench. A nice one for that nice courtyard. It is it? nice. It is very nice. It, it is. It's time out there. Grades 4 through 8, Warren County History Camp Opportunities, June 17th through 21st, and see Office for Flyer and more details. Nothing more exciting than some history. Nothing. It's invigorating. <laughs> Club news. Club Crossroads will be hosting a movie night on thir Thursday, April 13th at 6.30 in the auditorium. You going to that? Oh, uh, we'll see if I can make it. How about you? Um, that two dollars to get yeah, in is... Yeah, I feel. It's really gonna hurt the pockets, Wall so... Wall hurting. Yeah. 2017 prom committee will be held every Tuesday in Mrs. Alexander's room. Please make sure you attend to support your committee. Club Crossroads will meet in G113, also known as Mrs. Hunt's room. During homeroom on Monday, student council will meet in homeroom each Friday, and also the Junior National Honor Society will now meet every first and third Tuesday of the month during the seventh and eighth period exploratory and advisory periods. Tongue twister. Tongue twister, if that's what you call it. <coughs> okay, news we got from guidance. News from guidance. Um, several opportunities to take the SATs this year. It's very important. You want to go to college, so might need to get on that. Uh, all the information is posted on the guidance office door. Um, as far as college visits go, the list is in the guidance office. The visits are for seniors and juniors only, and there's more information to be found on the door. Um, as far as scholarships go, check out the guidance office again. They've got a little turnstile in there with all of them, but most of them are going to be due today, so. Unless you're a real good writer, I hope you already got them all turned in. Um, did you do any scholarships, Thomas? Uh, just a few. Just a few? Just a few. Yeah, not too much. How about you? Too many. Too many. Um, if you have received a scholarship, uh, an award, or an official recognition from anyone, please let the guidance office know so we can include it in the end of the year awards ceremony. On to athletic news. Uh, follow us on Twitter at EHS Squire News to keep up with all the spring sporting events. I will be at almost every baseball game this year, home or away, so I'll be live tweeting scores, uh, pitching changes, all that great stuff. So, I mean, if you're looking to uh, keep up on the away games, follow us there. Uh, we've also got... We've also got an Instagram with the same name, so uh, check us out there, too, for some action shots. Uh, Thomas, you got anything? Um, girls softball, they had their first game on Wednesday. And do you know who they played? Youngsville. Youngsville. Yeah. Uh, we'll give you the scores and update on that next week. And Chuck and Field had their first meet yesterday. And we'll give you the scores and update on that also as well. What about boys baseball? How did that boys, go? Oh, boys baseball, they had one game already. Uh, two, actually. Iroquois on Wednesday and... Monday they played Youngsville. We'll give you the Iroquois score next week, but uh, they beat Youngsville 12 to 4, 12 to 5. It's a good game. Um, five different people pitched. They, the new coach got to, uh, to check out some of the talent we got here at Eisenhower High School, so it was a good game. Good way to start out the season. That's what I like to hear. And uh, that's all for your morning announcements. Stay classy, Eisenhower.